a Dallas man will soon see his 100th birthday. On this Veterans Day, he looked back on his days in the Pacific fighting in World War II. I'm proud of my service in the Navy, service to our great country. Retired Navy Lieutenant C.C. Colley went to war at 19 years old and came back a different person. He's part of a small number of veterans from that era. Fox 4 Sean Rapp visited with C.C. Colley. Sean. Yeah, Clarice, simply a delightful time today with C.C. Colley, the only member of his immediate family to serve in the military and one of a handful from the World War II time frame that actually witnessed Japan signing the surrender to General MacArthur. He witnessed that from the ship he served on, a ship he told us meant everything to him. My ship was a destroyer. We were anchored about a thousand yards from the Zuri and I was able to watch it with my binoculars. How was that experience? Well, it was a memorable, a lifetime experience. C.C. Colley was a Navy lieutenant on the USS Blue during World War II. He fought the battle, witnessed the surrender, wrote the war diary for his destroyer. Well, it brought me through the war. It means everything to me. What he most remembers about Japan's surrender, the military flyover. But 1,600 airplanes in formation, as far as the eye could see, the greatest threat to Kali and his 334 shipmates aboard the USS Blue? Our biggest concern was kamikazes. The first attack of a Japanese aircraft suicide mission loaded with explosives, October 25th, 1944. And from there until the end of the war, August 16th, we had kamikazes daily. While they had anti-aircraft artillery to take aim at the suicide missions in the sky, Kali only 19 when he went to war, with edging emotions as he talks about another enemy at sea, typhoons. His ship went through three. The first one was December 18, 1944, and we lost three destroyers in that typhoon. And uh, the wind velocity was over 100 knots, and uh, the, uh, oh, it's terrible. Uh, I don't even like to think about it. C.C. Colley received seven battle stars issued for meritorious participation in battle. We captured a Japanese submarine and we sent three officers, I was one of the three, and 13 crewmen uh, to take command of this submarine. Colley will soon celebrate his 100th birthday in a couple of weeks, disturbed by what he sees in the world today. I hope we don't have to go to war again, ever. <laughs> it was a maturing experience. You grow up when people are shooting at you. <laughs> yeah, your attitude thing about a lot of things changes. But serving in World War II, something C.C. Colley was proud to do. If the uh, Axis powers, Germany and Japan, had won, uh, it'd be such a different world. It'd be awful, terrible. Very kind man, Mr. Colley uh, invited my photographer Paul Beam and myself to lunch today. We couldn't lunch with him, but very kind. Clarice, I want to take this minute to wish C.C. Colley and all veterans who've served, happy Veterans Day.